it just felt like sh the shadow fiend got like one or two deaths as like your leeway your slack and then after that you were just dead your, your game was legion. over legion it's a legion was in off teams this event's a little bit more uh you know regional yeah it's a little bit unfortunate the chinese team couldn't make it and they want to go for movie Ooh. ender and get that first boss kuroki We'll grab the oh, first the blood and too. then denying the tombstone, not giving up the gold to Saber Lane. That would be pretty, pretty funny if that actually was a thing. <laughs> well, you can see Morphling is already taking a big, big uh, disadvantage in the mid lane. Sitting on a big disadvantage. Oh, that! Oh, miracle! Triple no, he, he, he just waved in on Bryle, but he didn't morph up. Percent uptime is kind of crazy. IGH was pretty mad, kills it in the end. Kuroki actually put a tombstone towards Rose. Interesting. Didn't see what happened there. Oh, a duel on the Ember. Yeah, looking for the duel, trying to get something going here. Moomiander also has the shackles, so they do have the extra control afterwards, and they will get the kill on ILZW. Very well done. Right before Roche spawns. My thanks. Yeah, it's a classic. But despite Miracle really destroying mid lane, they're not up by a whole lot of gold. No, it's like Ember safe in. Saberlight looking for oh, a duel. And they drop down the tombstone to try and save GH, but they will finally get the victory for Saberlight. There's a lot of zombies though. Yeah, Kuroki chasing, trying to at least get one in return. It looks like they should be able to get at least Moomiander, who will shackle but still take a lot of damage, and the neutrals won't get the kill this time. So. 60 P? Yeah, easy. Well, Chen is pressing the top tower. It's already below half. Um, game is actually not in a bad state at all for for Team Undying. As I said, though, Dubu. Yeah, getting chased over. Dead. ILTW and GH come in. They've got the scatter blast, the remnants, the kill. Yeah, TSM. Hey, it's less than a thousand gold. Yeah, it's another safe in Ember though that we see. Oh, he actually he waved into the mid lane. He might yeah, be dead. Go to the Requiem. They've got the fear. Do they have the damage? What? Oh, nice dig. Gosh. Stick just keeping them alive. Let's be careful with the neutral creeps too. They get a buff up when they die. So. <laughs> you don't want to have him die to neutrals. No. Yeah. All right, Snap Cookie again with the Scatter Blast. Dude was going to be dead here. Three heroes from Enigma ready to go. Tiny morph. Like they will outscale you in the, in the mid lake in portions. But until then, you're in the driver's seat. Now Moomiander getting caught potentially. Saberlight's here to try and take the tombstone and well LTW will get the kill on the Moomiander. Now they're gonna work over and maybe get the duel on Kuroki. He does get it, but is the damage there just enough? And Saberlight's actually starting to put out some right clicks on ILGW. They do have GH over. The illusion's gonna be hit with the fire snap cookie. They'll lock up Saberlight for a second. The overwhelming odds is thrown out. Now he might even go for GH under the tower. He's got no way to get out if he already used the cookie, but now that with the searing chains as well as the scatter it's slowed him up enough, and now he might be too far. But with the help of Tomato, this should finally be a kill out of the Snapfire. Mm, yeah, well done. The dual victory was very important. Snowball is even further. Requiem all coming through. They've got the Fear on the Moomy Andrew. dropped down the Serpent Wars. Dubu getting low. Kuroki chasing. Needs one more race. right click. Yeah. Now they get the raise. They'll get the kill on a Dubu. Look for Moomy Andrew, but he's already got the phase boots. So maybe the blink dagger comes out afterwards. Miracle are going to try and take this tier one tower, and, and they've got the glyph, and now they've got the hex. But the Mortimer's kiss is coming in. Miracle's going to go over with some right click. Serpent Ward's plays right, down. Trap. Still but an easy what? kill onto Moomiander. Overwhelming odds isn't going to do enough. They don't have anything more than just the Shadow Shaman dying in that exchange. Yeah, my controller's taking up the tower. Right, so the big Ravage line. if he doesn't die here. They're gonna yeah, kill him. They've got the duel. They need to find a way to get the Ravage off, but they've got the Requiem when the Hand of God comes in. And now with the Ravage, they have the damage to get the kill on Dubu as well. Saberlight dominating for Miracle with the Remnant forward from ILTW looking after Bryle. It's five heroes here inside of the Galaxy armor. to just go in on this more. They get the kill on a Bryle and the Moon Man just TP'd in. So he's gonna be gut. He's dead again. Double death. And this is the exact thing that you can't have happen. Like, we spoke about how strong their static fight is, right? <laughs> you ran into the Tidehunter who built purely for HP. He's sitting at 2.2k. And then you lose that much. You lose five heroes in the end because Moomiander dies twice. It yeah. Just, it sets up perfectly for Enigma Galaxy 2 when they've got these ults available. Kisses, Ravage, oh, Dubu Requiem. Dubu's just gone. Scatterbus is going to get the kill there for GH and Brian Moomiander coming over, but... 
I don't really know what they expect to accomplish going into that fight at all. I think if you go into that fight, you need your tiny there. Like, it's an all in action, right? Everybody's there. You need to burst the Tide Hunter somehow. He seemed to be involved quite a bit in that fight and actually secured them a couple of kills. He's not doing amazing in the net worth. He's obviously behind the Tide. Oh, the Shadow Beam, but. Ooh. It but they didn't get the chain locked down. Oh no. Yeah, now they're going to end up losing Saber Life potentially. He's going to try and TP out. They have anything? The cookie's just a little it's bit. It's a long TP! Damage. Yeah, the TP was forever. It was six seconds. Where did he TP to? And it's now free roach. They have so much minus armor. It's no problem at all. Ooh. Now SF also with the aura on the towers. So they're going to be pushing a whole lot faster. Saber Light. Uh, should be easy getting out here. It's actually aggressing on Kuroki. Yeah, the kisses are going to come through. He's going to try and get this kill out onto the uh -huh. Undying, but he just doesn't have the damage. He's quickly dispatched. The duel did not really feel like it was going to do much. He ran it 1v4. That, that is Tiny and Shaman do the work. But the game is not in a terrible position, honestly, for Undying. They're doing a very good job split pushing. And they stagnated the the network, which is very good for them. And Botol is just gone. They're gonna come over and dust. try and maybe oh, get no the dust. kill, but no dust means no kills for the side of Enigma Galaxy. Invisibility is invincibility. Tide Hunter is just running away as well. Shaman has blink though. You cannot crank him out of a duel, so if they get a duel off, you should just be dead. Shackle, duel, and a decay on a three, but it's not going to really do much. And they'll drop down the Serpent Wards. They'll also be able to get the Tombstone. So an extra 200 gold there for the Legion. But they find Tomato. Oh, Tomato. Still continuing for Kuroki. There's a slight chain combo. Which is not the easiest thing to set up. Oh, another Shadow Blade. He might be catching on Mumi under here. You're going to blink out now if you want to live. Ooh. Remnant. And there's the change. And they got the change. They have the damage. They get the kill. Meanwhile, Saberlight bottom getting chased by mind control. It's not going to turn into much, yeah. but Mumiander playing with fire every time he's up in that top lane. 100%. If they want to kill, they need a the tiny, they're tiny, tiny, tiny. Go, 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 go. Oh, a little bit of a miscommunication. Don't have the damage yet. But they're going to try and go after this. Tide Hunter who throws out the Ravage. They've got a Mortimer's Kisses to go with it. Hand of God heals them up. Mind Control. I don't wonder whether or not he's going to continue to go for this. He does have the rest of the team coming through. Sableway trying to save Tomato with fight. Mind Control. Now turning around, but they've got the Remnant from ILTW. Not a lot of mana to work with. Miracle comes over and gets the break onto the Morphling while that's happening over bottom. But they weren't on the same page. Initiation mid lane. Miracle. We've seen one SF death can be so detrimental to the team. Yeah, but he goes into the Silver Edge. They drop down the Sentry. He's trying to make something happen. They'll look for the duel. They've got it, but Mumiander taking a lot of damage. Do they have enough to get the kill here on a Miracle? So far, surviving goes into the BKB, and they get the Corona Mumiander as well as Saberlight. They'll look over at Dubu. They finally finish off Miracle with Bryle getting the kill there. And Dubu will fall. Three goes down to the side of TSM. Fire Snap Cookie or lands. Double but cookie. The toss. Ooh, the Double Cookie, but the toss away means that Bryle might survive. Double if Mata goes out, do they have the dust? They have the Sentry. And now... And trying to continue up the hit and finally use the dust. They were using sentries to try and catch Tomato, but that's not gonna work. Really, when it comes to investing into a revelation, a reveal. <laughs> I don't know if a revelation is the same as a reveal. Oh man. It's not. Okay, <laughs> well, Bryle is gonna lose his career. That feels pretty bad, but we're gonna lose his, his life. Control's gonna, yeah, he's gonna lose his life. That's fine. Push up to 30. Save that, no fear. Yeah, still going Damn. in. He really wants that dual damage. He hasn't gotten any dual damage off the previous oh, the couple of... Ooh, the avalanche? They popped the, the Lincolns. Didn't check the inventory. Nope. And that was the duel that goes on cooldown now. Searing Chains comes out in the Moomiander, and they've got the damage with the help of Kuroki to get the kill. Not just yet. But I have you the the goes into the side of fist once again with the remnants going away. He'll survive. Requiem used. Searing Chains oh, coming out with Bryo. the Skirt Vessel on a Bryo. They're going to go another Morphling, and now they're going to look over for Tomato. Dust, dust. Where's the dust? <laughs> <laughs> the dust is not there, but the kisses are. Dubu caught with the side of fist. Searing Chains, and where does this fight happen? Right next to the pit. They know that Roche is up, and they can go for this if they want. And the shaman spells, but that's it. Not the best tools, honestly. Oh, Dubu got caught out. Yep. Gush is there. Cookie's there with it. They have the control. They have the spirit vessel and the damage. You got mech though and oh, S-string. Does he? No. Ah. <laughs>
<laughs> well, the tower is gone. SF did too much damage to it. Yeah, they've got the damage to just take up the towers. They're going to look to sit on the racks, too. They have the oh, agents and the top, top, they're, splitting. they're trying to split a little bit. No, at least they can find anything. The best are doing so. Yeah, he's almost got the tier 3 tower up at the top lane. How long are they going to be willing to stay on this one? They've got the Hex out, but there's the Ravage coming through. Tiny's still in the top lane, so he's not going to be here for this fight. Oh, the They've got the break. They get the kill on the Moomiander. They're looking over at Bryo to finish him off. But Saberlight now running back with the Kisses coming forward. Tiny is oh, sticking ranks. to the lane. He got the top melee racks. And, oh, GH. I can step right through. He's GH, dead. He's just... Oh, oh. Yeah, fine with it's a shard. They almost got him. They're going to look for the duel too with the BKB being popped by Saberlight as well as Miracle. And now they've lost Capital the tier Miracle. 3 man. Gush, Requiem, Bryo in some trouble. But here comes Tomato with a clean damage. It's not going to be enough just yet. Moomiander, he's already dead. He's, he's gone for seven seconds. And now they've got the Searing Chains out on two of these heroes. They'll use the Gush to get the kill on the Dubu. Tomato can only just hide in between the tier 4 towers. And well, they're going to lose the mid set of racks. They might be a little bit too rich for Undying at this point. The damage up was just not there. The Shiva's on the tide, just panic on the SF. Lincoln's still sitting on the... Uh, Ember's still sitting on the Lincolns. Too many defensive tools. And no buyback or movement that you only real disabler. Avalanche, toss, kill. Oh. Oh. Control. They blew him up. And they want more, knowing that the Aegis is no longer available, but they've got and the, the damage on the Saberlight. Static. The winner there for Miracle. He catches Lincoln's top and the right click damage to the race is on a Bryo. They'll finish him off. They don't have buy that. Uh, yeah, all three no buy, but this game is done and dusted. No chance. The SFR has too much damage output. Dust, dust? No. <laughs> Uh, Where is that? At this point, I don't know if it's going to be needed. It looks like Nigma Galaxy are going to take this first game. They'll call GG on TSM. And they will take this game, this BO1.